I recently read Ikigai, The Japanese Secret to a Long and Happy Life by Hector Garcia and Francis Mireas. In the small Japanese island region of Okinawa, people live past 100 at a rate higher than anywhere else in the world. Garcia and Mireas moved to Okinawa to discover why. First, they observed how incredibly cheerful Okinawans were. They smiled often and greeted strangers like long lost friends. Next, they marveled at the Okinawans' active lifestyle. Elder Okinawans spent much of their week working in their gardens and walking with friends. They lived true to a local song that ended with, if you keep moving and your fingers working, a hundred years will come to you. And at dinner time, Okinawans had a rule, hara hachibu, meaning fill your belly to 80%. And the food they did consume was remarkably clean and colorful. At least 30% of their calories came from colorful vegetables like sweet potatoes, carrots, bamboo shoots, and seaweed, which supplied them with plenty of polyphenols, compounds that reduce inflammation in the body. They also consumed very little sugar, processed foods, or alcohol. How Okinawans ate, moved, and remained optimistic and cheerful all led to a longer life. But the key to their longevity was believed to be their ikigai, a strong, guiding sense of purpose. The concept of ikigai is commonly explained using a four circle diagram created by Mark Wynn. The four circles in the diagram represent what you enjoy, what you're good at, what you get paid for, and what the world needs. The intersection of those four circles is where you can find your Ikigai and experience a profound sense of purpose. But after reading the book Ikigai, I think the model needs to be revised because getting paid isn't necessary for purpose in your 80s. Focusing on what the world needs is too vague and intimidating. Therefore, I've simplified the model and reduced the four circles to two, so you and I can more easily find our ikigai throughout our lives. If we get busy working at the intersection of these two circles, we will live each day with a profound sense of purpose. The first circle represents what makes you essential. Okinawans work to be an essential part of their mawai. A mawai is a tight-knit social group with shared interests and values who look out for one another. Members of a Mawai eat together, organize large games of Go and Shogi, which is Japanese chess, and other group hobbies. Okinawans wake up each day looking for ways to contribute to their Mawai. They share food that they grow in their gardens and use what resources they have to support each other in times of need. Constantly giving to their Mawai provides them with a sense of purpose and peace because they trust that their small community will be there for them when they fall into hard times. Finding your ikigai starts by identifying who you want to give to. This could be your family, your team at work, enthusiasts of your favorite hobby, or your best customers and loyal fans. Once you identify who you want to give to, ask two questions. What more can I give? And how can I give in a way that only I can give? Giving strengthens your sense of purpose while taking weakens it. Or as Maury Schwartz said in the best-selling book, Tuesdays with Maury, a book on life's great lessons, giving makes me feel like I'm living. Taking makes me feel like I'm dying. When you give to people you care about, give in interesting and unexpected ways. Be like a flight attendant who adds something extra to make a safety speech funny, or a salesperson who deviates from the script to create a human connection, or an artist who goes above and beyond to make something special, like Japanese potter Yukio Shakunaga. Just before he passed, Steve Jobs asked Shakunaga to make him a special teacup in a new style. To satisfy his request, Shakunaga made 150 teacups to test new ideas and then chose the best 12 and sent them to Jobs. When you give to your community, your mawai, in unique ways, they will come to rely on your quality input and you will feel essential. Now the second circle of the two-part Ikigai model is what puts you in a flow state. Wikipedia curators experience their ikigai by researching and writing in a state of flow to do work that is essential to the Wikipedia community. Open source software contributors find the sweet spot by programming in a flow state and improving the software their community relies on. Okinawans find the intersection between being essential and being in flow while interacting with members of their mawai and making them feel heard and loved, a rare and highly underrated skill. Research shows that the happiest people do not achieve the most, but spend the most time in a state of flow. Those who experience the most flow are usually really good at something and lose track of time while doing it. 
Therefore, to find flow, challenge yourself to develop enough skill so that one action flows effortlessly into the next. Tom Bilyeu, the founder of Impact Theory, stresses the importance of learning skills that have utility. These are skills that allow you to be more productive and influential. Skills like learning quickly, thinking critically, writing clearly, leveraging AI, and running a business make you a more effective human being and extremely useful to others. Think of the people you want to give to and the problems that they have. Then consider three skills you could develop to solve those problems. Then devote yourself to developing those skills while experiencing as much flow as possible. Increase your flow by getting crazy clear on three questions. What's my immediate goal? How am I doing? And how might I do slightly better? Once you have answers to those three questions, focus intensely on your actions. Garcia and Marias say concentrating on one thing at a time may be the single most important factor in achieving flow. I've started playing the following game to improve my concentration and increase the odds that I experience flow each day. At the end of each day, I assess whether my concentration was subjectively stronger than yesterday's. If it was, I add a point to my score. If not, I keep my score the same. My goal is to move from one point to 50 points over the course of 90 days. I keep track of my score on a calendar every day. I currently have a score of 26. I find the best way to improve my score is to spend most of my day doing pomodoros. That is setting 25 minute timers to focus intensely and then resting for five minutes. Each pomodoro feels like a set at the gym that strengthens my concentration. In the end, the secret to living a long and happy life is to wake up each day with a clear ikigai, a reason for living. You'll find your ikigai at the intersection of what makes you essential to the people you love and who love you, and what puts you in a flow state. Garcia and Mirai say, once you discover your ikigai, pursuing it and nurturing it every day will bring meaning to your life. That was the core message that I gathered from Ikigai by Hector Garcia and Francis Mirais. This book is a great guide for living longer and happier. I highly recommend it. If you would like a one-page PDF summary of insights that I gathered from this book, just click the link below and I'd be happy to email it to you. If you already subscribed to the free Productivity Game email newsletter, this PDF is sitting in your inbox. If you like this video, please share it. And as always, thanks for watching and have yourself a productive week.